And Damar Hamlin, Michael had a chance to sit down with the Buffalo Bills safety for his first interview since his terrifying collapse. His recovery is nothing short of miraculous, Michael. You are absolutely right about that, Robin. So good to sit there and look DeMar Hamlin in the face and just have a conversation. He he took the field last night before last, before the game, and he was there with the healthcare workers who treated him. He showed his love for the women and men who saved his life. And he and I talked about the moment that changed everything and also what's next for him. And action. <laughs> Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin has come a long way since collapsing on the field during Monday Night Football just six weeks ago. And now another Bills player is down. Maybe Hamlin. The 24-year-old survived in sudden cardiac arrest as millions watched on live television. Well, this is the last thing you want to see. Let's go back to January 2nd. How were you feeling before the game and when you were out there? Normal? Super normal. Feeling great. Can you tell me what you remember about the game up until the hit? I remember the things that we were focused on going into the game, just trying to get a win. So in the course of the game, you have the hit. You make the tackle. Do you remember standing up after you make that tackle? Um, that's something I don't really want to get too deep into in the details of. The ambulance is out there on the field, and they are intensely working on DeMar Hamlin. The assistant athletic trainer, Denny Kellington, he came out and administered CPR to you, alerted everyone else that the situation was pretty serious. I owe Denny my life, literally. Uh, you know, him just, just, you know, he loves to say he was just doing his job, but, mm -hmm. and which is true, that night he was literally the savior of my life, you know, administrating CPR on me. And that's something I'm, I'm, I'm truly thankful for and I don't take for granted. Have you gone back and looked at the video of the hit? Um, I, I watched it once or twice while I was in the, uh, mm in the ICU, but you know, I, I really couldn't watch it too much, so. And what I, was that like to watch that? Uh, just a crazy feeling, something I, I can't even describe yet, something I'm still processing, uh, something I'm still trying to work through, you know, why it happened to me. What is the first thing you remember when you started to wake up? Uh, just hearing family members, uh, my mom, my dad, friends that were there, um, just, just kind of hearing certain people, certain conversations around me, and, you know, just trying to tie it all together. The first thing I said when I woke up was, did we win? You know, I was yeah, dude. thinking about that. Do you <laughs> realize, when, they, when I saw that, I said, okay, he's an athlete. He's committed. Because mm -hmm. you wake up and you're sitting and you're going, did we win? Your mind is still on the game. I'm competitive. I'm playing with my full heart, my everything I got in me. That competitive nature in me was just still just thinking about the game. And I just wanted to know, like, did we win? Like and I said, what did they tell you? He, he said, I, I won. Yes, I won. I won the game of life. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Did doctors ever come to you and say, you know, this could have gone another way? Yeah, pretty much when they, you know, just, just even saying, um, you know, you won the game of life. Mm -hmm. uh, that just kind of put things in perspective for me, you know, hearing it from the doctor. Things could have went differently in the details of the situation of everything that happened on the field. It could have been the last of me. Your doctors in Cincinnati, they called your recovery remarkable. I mean, three days on the ventilator, your neurological function is intact. I'm sitting here talking to you today. I feel like I wouldn't know anything ever happened to you. Um, why do you think your recovery is so remarkable? Uh, first and foremost, just, just God, um, just a blessing, you know. I'm just thankful he gave me a second chance, you know, just to, to live normally and just, you know, not even, just come out almost without a, a scratch on me, mm -hmm. um, just to be able to keep going. After Hamlin was discharged from the ICU, the question on so many minds, what caused his heart to stop beating? You're 24, peak physical condition, could run circles around me right now. <laughs> <laughs> How did doctors describe what happened to you? Um, Um, that's something I want to stay away from. I know from my experience at the NFL, they do more tests than anything. And in the course of you having your physical, did anybody ever come back with any, say you had a heart issue or anything that was abnormal? Uh, honestly, no. Um, 
I've always been a, a, a healthy, young, fit, energetic, uh, you know, human being, let alone mm -hmm. athlete. Um, so it, it was something that was just, that we're, we're still processing and I'm still talking through with my doctors just to see what everything was. So you made a surprise appearance with your teammates and they, all, they went crazy for you. They said you were flexing on them. Yeah. <laughs> Right here, just like this, as soon as I got on the Zoom call, I felt like it was important just to show strength to them uh, so they could keep going for me. And they were just so happy to see me. So um, that was like a breath of fresh air. How tough was it for you to watch the team in the playoffs and not be out there on the field with them? Oh, it's very tough. It was, it was super tough. It was an uneasy feeling. Uh, I, really couldn't, I really couldn't settle in at all. I definitely understand that. I mean, you're used to being on the field. It's hard to watch. It's hard. How are you doing physically? Uh, I'm, I'm doing great, you know. Um, every morning, I just, uh, every morning, every night, you know, I, I take 10 deep breaths to myself. Mm. Um, and it, it, it puts everything in perspective for me. Um, so I'm doing great. How about emotionally? Uh, I'm still working through things. I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to process all the emotions and the, and the, the trauma that comes from, you know, dealing with a situation like that and not really having people around or, you know, like no one in my immediate circle who's dealt with something like that. Do you want to get yourself back on the football field? Uh, eventually, you know, that's, that's always the goal, but uh, I'm allowing that to be in God's hands. And did the doctors tell you it's possible? It's a tough situation. Uh, they, mm -hmm. you know, it's, they can't really tell because it's like, it's a up to me thing, I guess, or, mm -hmm. or you know, it's, it's just, it's a long road. They just were worrying about trying to get me back to normal um, as, as much as they can. Since this has happened, the interest in learning CPR and CPR training has skyrocketed. And that's the direct impact because of you. Yep. You know, right now I'm, I'm teaming up with the American Heart Association. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get three million people uh, to apply and to learn CPR. And that's something that I feel is important because it, it really did save my life that night. I mean, what a remarkable young man. And I've had a chance to spend time with DeMar ever since that interview. And you, Robin, you have your thing. You make your mess your message. And un this is an unfortunate mess for him. But he's made it his message. He wants people to learn CPR that they possibly can save another life yeah. if that opportunity um, happens. And I just think, you know, this is somebody who this happened to him for a greater cause and a greater reason. And, and he's going to make sure that all the things that he can make people aware of to help others is not like cast by the wayside. So what an amazing man DeMar Hamlin is, and hopefully we get the chance to see him back on the football field, George. No, we sure are hoping for that. No question about it. Okay, Michael, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.